All fabric that goes into washing machines have labels like this on them. If you've ever wondered what they mean, this short video will help. First, you need to know the six basic icons and what they represent. The first and last are usually the easiest. Your first being wash and the last being iron. Then coming after wash, typically you've got your dry. So you have a standard dry and the circle and square is tumble dry. Next are where it gets a little bit tricky where you have a circle on its own. This is dry clean and the one that I think throws a few people out is a triangle which means bleach. We'll come back to this one later. So these are the six basic icons and obviously underneath you can see what they represent. So the first is wash. So wash I think when you look at them are quite easy to tell what they are from the get go when you realise they wash. So the first as we said is a standard wash. This is put in your washing machine. Your next one there's a hand in the wash. That's a hand wash. And lastly an X through the wash representing do not wash. Now there are some other variants to these and depending on where you buy your clothes, if you get them from the UK, Europe or the United States, you'll have slightly different variants when it comes to the temperature. So in the UK, in Europe, we'll have something like this, where you'll have a number inside the icon telling you what temperature to wash at. In this case, we've got wash at 30. Over in the States, you'll typically find this dots going up representing a hotter temperature starting with the cold wash going to warmer and finally a hot wash. The last thing that you'll find on wash is underneath one or two lines. Put simply this is gentle or very gentle wash depending on the fabric so they're not damaged it'll ask you to use a slower spin. Next you've got bleach. Now when we're talking about bleach we're not talking about the stuff that you put down your toilet. Instead we're talking about the bleach that sometimes in your fabric um, detergents. So you've got symbols for bleach and then you've got a symbol for do not bleach and you can already see there's a pattern occurring. Then you've got this one which is a bit tricky which is just the type of bleach in this case, no chlorine bleach. Now there's a bit of misconception when it comes to detergents. You'll usually see something like bio and non-bio when you're buying powdered detergents. And there's a bit of a myth that non-bio is better for your skin than bio. But really, the enzymes inside the powders are different and they're designed to wash different types of clothes. Inside bio you've not got any bleach where typically the non-bio uses bleach. So depending on the fabric you're washing and the stain you're washing you'd have you'd buy both of these detergents and then wash relating to what's indicated by the triangle. So for example if you've got a stain on from oil or grease you'd use bio detergent where if you've got a white and you want to get rid of a stain you'd use a non-bio detergent. Next is dry. So these are the four symbols that you'd have with dry. You've got line dry where you're putting it on your washing line. Dry flat where you're flying on a flatbed. Drip dry is when you're folding it over a washing line and drying the slate in the shade is where you're putting it on a washing line outside of direct sunlight. Next, if you've got a tumble dryer, this is a symbol for you. So you've got again the dot system. So you've got a low temp dry, medium temp dry, or sometimes a hot dry, and lastly, do not dry. And again with the washers, you'll have two, one or two lines underneath on some fabrics, again representing gentle or very gentle. So usually a slower tumble. Then you've got dry clean, Really for this you want to take it to a professional dry cleaners 
but these are the symbols that you'll see. Again, lines underneath, some of them representing a gentle or very gentle dry clean, and the X representing do not dry clean. For those that are interested, P is professional dry clean, and F is hydrocarbon solvent only. Really, you're taking this to a dry cleaner as not to damage any of the fabrics. And then lastly is iron. Similar again with your dots. Low temp, medium temp and high temp on your iron. Some of them will have two lines coming out, in this, which represents steam. In this case, we've got iron on a medium temp and do not use steam. And then lastly, do not iron. So this was what I showed you at the start of the video and this is taken from one of my shirts. Based on what we've gone through, can you now read what these icons mean? So the first one is wash at 40 and there's a line underneath that indicating that we should do a gentle wash. Next we've got the triangle meaning do not use bleach so we should be using a bio detergent then we've got the square, circle and dot, which is a tumble dryer, the dot representing a low temp dry. Then we've got the iron with two dots, representing medium temperature, and lastly the circle on its own, do not dry clean, because there's an X through it. I hope you find this video useful, if you do consider subscribing, and I'll be uploading more of these soon.